Alright. Normal Sudoku rules apply. There is a secret five-digit number. The color cells in a row read left to right as a five-digit number, representing a guess of the secret number. If a cell is green, the digit is the secret number in the correct position. If it's yellow, then digit is the secret number in the wrong position. If it's gray, it's not the secret number. Cell separated by black dot, which can one, two, and... No, it does Okay. So, we know that this is a five. Five. That's a six. And a four. That's a seven. Um, <clears throat> this is the correct number in the correct location. Hey, Harry, how are you? Long time no see. Yeah, I've... Um, I mean, I'm not streaming as like a full-time thing, I just do it whenever I have a moment. Um, but I have been saving a pretty big backlog of Sudokus to do for stream. And so I was just like, I should probably start tackling this. And I saw this Wordle one today and I'm like, I really want to do this one. Uh, so yeah. Let's see, we don't know what this last number is. Um, but we know that this number here... We're gonna, I'll use zero to represent the unknown number, so I'll just mark it like this so I know that this is what it is. Uh, so this is a correct number in the wrong area, so it could be, it can't be a six, but it could be, it can't be a five. It could be a seven, nine, or the zero number. Um, this one is in the zero spot, so uh, it's not a five, it's a six, seven, or nine in that case here. Uh, oh, this one's also in the same spot here. Um, that one could be the O or the 9, can't be the 5, because 5 is in the box. This one is in the 7 spot, can't be a 5 or 6, so it's the O or the 9. This is in the 9 spot, can't be a 5 or 6, so it's the O or the 7, but it's not the 7, so this is the O. So that's not the O, that's the 9. This is in the first spot, it's not the 5, it's not 6, 7, it could be 9 or the O. Uh, this is in the O spot, and it's not 7 or 9, so this is 5 or 6. This one's in the 9 spot, uh, can't be an O, can't be a 7, so this is also 5 or 6. Mystical Midget, if they're still alive. Well, I just started, <laughs> so, oh man. Oh man, we're getting onto that already, oh geez. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna take up the whole screen. <laughs> I should have started it smaller, is what I should have done. Uh, oh, this can't be a 6 or 7, that's a 9. So this is actually the O. That's the only one left. Um, that can't be a 9. That's an O or 7, that's an O or 9. I think that's all the digits we got to work with here. Um, let's see. 3, 6 is out of the question, so this is a 1, 2, 2, 4. So this is a 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. In some combination of pairs. Which means our mystery number is 3. Mystery number is 3. That's what this is. This is actually pretty easy so far. I don't say so myself. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. Um, I will send off that raid. Uh, yeah. If they're still live by the time I finish, I'm planning to be streaming for at least a couple hours. So, because I do, like I said, I have quite a backlog. Now, these are all incorrect answers. So, these can be 1, 2, 4, 8, which is all, all the other numbers available. This one, too. 1, 2, 4, 8. Um, what else do we have? I wonder if we can figure out the 1, 2, 4, 8 pairing. So let's say, let's put orange and blue together, and let's put purple and yellow together. <clears throat> well, this one obviously, actually we can't, we shouldn't use yellow. Let's use, we shouldn't use green either. Um, let's use black. Nope. Oh man, there's no good color for this one. Uh, let's use let's let's do it this way. 
feel like this is going to be more annoying than it's worth. That one's definitely... Okay, we'll use dark. A dark gray. How is my kid doing? My kid's doing great. We just put together a, um, a desk for him. Actually, let me show you a picture. Uh, we went to Ikea this week because uh, he's starting to get into doing like more schoolwork and stuff like that. So we put together uh, a desk for him at just the right size. So you can see that here. And we did. So this little desk is just the right height for him. We need to still need to get a chair. This is actually a footstool that he's sitting on right now. Um, yeah. Put that into his room. He loves it. Yeah, he's got a race car bed. He's got his little uh, desks now. And yeah. <laughs> He's got a bookshelf and everything, so he's, he's all set. His, his room's coming along now. Okay, uh, we need a consecutive number in here. A uh, consecutive number can be a 1, 2. Can't be a 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7. Could be a 7, 8. In, only in this order, those. And it cannot be an 8, 9, because 9 is here and here. So this is actually not that many left over here. Okay. And uh, what was I? Oh, yes, I was trying to figure this one out. So this could be blue, orange, or purple. That doesn't really help us here. But we do have a lot of 1248s to consider. Hmm. A good question to ask here is where does 7 and 9 live? Because they're not here. So 7 and 9 will have to be somewhere here. Along with the black 1248, we'll have to live here. Yes, because one of the other ones has to live here. The black 1248 has to live here, which means the other numbers that we haven't used yet is 3, 5, and 6. So that's 5 in here. And that's a 3, 6. If this is a 3, then this is either a. Uh, two or four, and if it's a six, it's either a five or a seven, so it can't be a nine, what we learned. Okay. Three, six, five. What else do we have here to work with? Hmm. Let's just do a really fast Sudoku pass because I see a six right here. Start with nines. Nine, nine, aha. Uh -huh. da, da, da. So nines could be here, here. Nines can be anywhere in this box. Okay. Sevens. In fact, seven can only be here. And therefore, this must be eight. Therefore, these all cannot be eights, which means this is not a four. Then this is an eight up here. This is. One, two, four. Eight. eight seven. Here and here. Okay. If a seven is here, this would have to be an eight. That's still possible. <clears throat> That's possible. Um, okay, go with sixes now. That's a six. Aha, that's a seven, which means that's a seven, that's an eight. That all fills in. That's not an eight. These are also not eights. Eight is somewhere here. This is either a seven or five. 
8 cannot be here, so one of these two is an 8. What are we missing from here? We're missing a 3, so that's a 3. Therefore, that's the 8. And that's a 1, 2, 4. Oh, I love this song. One, two, four. Where does the five go? Five is somewhere here. We're looking at sixes right here. If this is a six, this would have to be a seven, and then this would have to be an eight. So this can't be a six. Sixes are here or here. Now, if this is a six, this could be a five, six, seven. That's possible. Or it could be a seven, six, five, which is not possible. Actually, no, it can't be a five. Five can't be here or here. So this actually can't be a six at all. This is a six, which gives us these numbers. Which puts six somewhere in here. Puts five somewhere here. This is no longer an eight. Five, six, seven, eight. I guess we could. No, there's too many possibilities. I don't want to mark them all just yet. Uh, what is our outside number that we're missing here? We're missing our seven. Seven, seven, seven. So seven can be here. If seven's here, this would have to be a six or an eight. Neither of those are possible, so therefore this is the seven. <clears throat> And these are one, two, eights remaining. Boom, boom. These could be sevens. Seven, seven. Can this be seven, eight, nine? No. Oh, aha. So seven, seven, seven. One of these two, seven, eight, nine is not possible, so that. Which puts the seven here. Three, three. Can three go here? Three or five? No. Three, two, one. That is possible. Okay. So three is one of these two squares. This is still our unknown one, two, four. <clears throat> one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five. Okay, so if it's a four, five, it'll be four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight. Could be an eight, nine. That. That's all the possibilities for this one. And this one here. Let's see. One, two, three is possible. Two, three, four. No fives. No six or seven. No nine. No eights. So it's. Realistically, it just goes up to one, two, three, and four, but threes can't go here. That means this can't be a four. And we already know this one can't be a four, because we can't put a five anywhere. But we have put a four here. Okay, so four, so this is just one, two, three. So therefore, that's a three. That's a two, that's one. These can't be a 1, which means they can't be a 2. That's the 4, that's the 8. Uh, what's left here? 3, 
It's got to go in here now. That puts a six there, three. I mean, it's only that spot for the seven, so that's a nine. Two, four is a problem. It means that this one is this number here. So that's a two, four. That's this color here. Yeah. Oh, this is no longer an eight. So this is our four, eight. So therefore, therefore, this is our two. That's a one. <clears throat> one, two, this is now four, five. Has to be a one actually. Actually, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Which leaves an eight here and leaves us with five, four. One, this is two, four, or nine, four, eight, nine, and one. This one obviously can't be nine, that can't be eight. Suddenly get stuck. Oh, peculiar. <clears throat> One. Where does two go? Two can go here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One could be a two, can't be a three, could be a four or five, can't be a six, seven, could be an eight or a nine. There's a lot of possibilities there. That's not helpful at all. A toll. Ah, over here. This could be a one, two, four, or eight. It can't be a one. <clears throat> We're missing in this box here. One, two, uh, we're missing a three. We can go only here. Uh, four, five, and then six can only go here. It's not helpful at all. <laughs> ah, that puts a six here though. <clears throat> and this is now one, four, or five. What are we missing here? One, two, four, nine. One, two, four, nine. Oh, you got stuck around here? I have a feeling, I mean, I just saw some of the stuff. I have a feeling I should just do normal Sudoku and I probably would be okay. Um, I don't know why I'm putting it off. <laughs> Ones. Here, here. Twos. Like I ended up pencil marking every single one of these boxes. Threes are all done, so I can ignore threes now. Oh, wow, we don't have a lot of fours looking at it. <clears throat> I 
wonder if it'd be helpful to actually just use my colors here. It might not be, but whatever. We have nothing else better to do, so we can uh, we can probably figure out this blue orange um, disambiguation that way. We need to figure out whether this 8 is an orange or a yellow. Or orange or blue, rather. Does that actually even help us anywhere? I don't think that's going to help us anywhere. <laughs> we already pencil marked everything. Let's see. Four, five, this will become a four. One, four, five, everything works out. Eight, nine. That's nine here, here. Hmm. Pressure is on. What am I missing here? I'm trying to look for like X wings or something now. See, the problem with this is that normally people wouldn't guess, you know, like the same incorrect answer twice. Oh! What color was this? Oh no, this was gray. Okay, let me actually just get rid of all my coloring real quick. It's gonna say. <laughs> so the only thing we know about this is that it's just a... It's one or two, and both of them is already wrong, so the coloring doesn't really matter here. Oh, I did not see that. 
Uh. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, just look at Sudoku, clearly. That's the only place for the eight. Um, anywhere else? Any others? Yes. More takers. Thank you. Two nine two nine. Leaves us with the one eight two nine. Two nine one two. Two. Woo! That that should have been an easy spot. I think my pencil marking probably made a made a bigger mess. Wordle first. Did you notice that the the Google thing at the top here? It does the little Wordle thing. It's really cool. Hard mode. Let's go. Ratio. I get I get I and R quite a lot, which is funny. Um, we haven't used a U. We haven't used T, L, and C. Hmm. I could be the starting letter. I could be in the middle. In which case, then we wouldn't need. Prick. Oh, we could do prick again. Um... Krilp. <laughs> I just want to use these letters. Um, is there any other words, any other word letters I can use here? Because we could totally do prick again, but I, I honestly don't think it's gonna. He's gonna reuse the same word, right? Right? Um. I'm trying to think of R I words here like frick pricey maybe i don't mind getting rid of the y i don't think that's how you spell pricey oh it lets me put it in <gasps> oh my gosh okay so it's not prick um it's probably cri crisp no krill <laughs> Crimp. Crimp is a word, right? Crimp. Can't think of anything else. Uh, crimp. Uh, crimp. Crimps. I don't know. I'll punch it in. Woo! 